very different uh, release reaction. As you can see, he tries to press and he just runs right around it. If you have a route that runs right through the defender, the defender will lose acceleration, but the receiver won't. So you see he runs right through that, gets instant separation for about five yards. You can see these cornerbacks just bump into each other enough that both receivers are open. I could throw it to the running back in the flat, or I could just take the easy one play touchdown right over the middle. <laughs> For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new full breakdown for you guys today. I'm going to be using something from my brand new 49ers offensive ebook that I just put out. And I've been doing this every Friday where I've been putting out a full breakdown of an offense or a defense that I've been using in my gameplays. Last week, I put out a full breakdown from the Denver Broncos single back tight way off. And I still plan on using this formation in gameplay, but I think I'm going to have to switch to the Niners because the Niners do does have one of the best one play touchdowns from that formation, which was the PA post dig, which is still going to be one of the most you know used plays in the formation, even in the Niners playbook. But it also has the PA leak, which is one of the glitchiest plays in the game. Very similar to something that I put out from the Steelers ebook last year. And it's something that I also put out in a glitch routes video uh, a couple days ago. So I'll try to have links in the description if you guys missed those videos. And at the end of the end of the video, if you guys want to check that out. One of the first offenses I'm going to use when I switch to the Niners next week is going to be from the iPhone Close. And that's because that they, I know I've showed a lot of plays from this, but they have a lot of plays that the Denver Broncos doesn't have. Plays like the PA Boot Flow, which is a very good play. The 95 Mike, the Power O, which is probably my favorite run play in the entire formation. And the PA Spider Mesh. All these plays are new to the iPhone Close. I'm probably going to make at least one video about that before I switch to either the uh, the single back tie way off or the formation I'm going to show you today, which is a formation I plan on using quite a bit. If you follow this channel, you've seen me use this formation a lot in the past. I would say going back as far as maybe Madden 20 or Madden 21 maybe. The only reason I stopped using the Niners is because I just got tired of using it. I think I used it for like an entire year. Same thing with the Saints. The Saints is still a great playbook, but I used it all of last year and at the beginning of this year. And at some point, you just want to branch out and use other playbooks. So the formation I'm going to break down today is the gun split close. Now, my first play is going to be the halfback wheel. This play is so uh, flexible that I could really run this one play an entire game. And I might try to do that for an upcoming video. That's how good this play is, is you really have everything you need in one play. One of the best plays in the game, really. Uh, and this will be my one play touchdown against every single defense. I'll save this play for last like I typically do, but I'll have it time stamped if you guys want to jump ahead to this play. After that, you need your run plays. This is a very good running scheme. Your half pack power O is like your stretch run. It's your widest looping run to the outside to the right. You also have your inside run, which is the read option, which you can treat like an inside zone, or you can keep with the quarterback and take it wide to the left, giving you uh, run options to all three areas of the field, which is pretty important when it comes to running the ball. My last play is the halfback Niners choice, or the Niners halfback choice, however you want to say that, as this play here is probably your best dink and dunk play. It has multiple man and zone beating concepts all over the field, making this like the perfect play for dink and dunks. So with these four audibles, you really have everything you need. My fifth play would probably probably change. I haven't figured out my fifth favorite play yet as I haven't run this too much in gameplay, but I could run any number of plays here, which I'll go over. There's a lot of good dink and dunk plays, but let's go over and start off with the run plays. Now, if you're going to run the ball, I would say one of the best things to do is go into your packages, which is the right stick, and go over to a tight end at fullback. If you're going to run the ball from this formation, it always makes sense with the new patch, and I go over this in my gameplay videos a lot, to make sure to put a tight end at this spot here, which is going to be uh, just going to give you seven tight ends and linemen, which would be enough against most people would be matching in like nickel packages or quarter normal stuff like that. They're going to be matching in smaller defenses, which is what people like to run dollar stuff like that. If you have a tight end at this spot, only three, four, and four, three would match to the point where the read and react AI would be turned on, which is something that I talk about a lot in my videos. So if I'm passing, I'm going to want to make sure I have a receiver here. If I'm running, I'm going to make sure I have a tight end here in both spots, really. So that's pretty much the look. The play we'll start off with is going to be the halfback power O. Before we get into the video, though, if you guys want more help, you can download this or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the link in the description or the top hand comment. Now, on this first play here, you can see how wide that defensive end is. If they're wide like that, motion this guy out. Let him get right in front of him. That'll probably be the best way to take him out of the play and redirect him. And you can see how if I follow these blocks outside, I get a very easy 20-yard carry because there's a lot of opportunity to be had out here. So once again, that defensive end is out wide. I'm going to kick this guy out so that if he does shoot past the guard or past the tackle, rather, that he's going to he's gonna run right into me. You can see we get the exact same look on back-to-back -back plays, even though I'm sure it was different defenses. So not a lot to this. 
as far as uh, this play goes, if you leave this guy back here, it's just a, a higher chance that he's going to um, miss that block if he does have to get to that block. And this is a very important block. That's why when you run the ball, you're going to want to make sure to have a fullback here because a lot of running backs will just get bulldozed. So like I said, if he's out wide like that, bring him in close. This looks like it's more of a man coverage. You can see how Karloftis there uh, really got past the, uh, the the tackle and really can mess up the play. That's really the only thing that can mess up this play is if you have a really widespread alignment like that. And if that's the case, I would say switching to the read option would make more sense because this is more of an inside run. So that's how these two run plays work together. If that guy's out too wide like that, could mess everything up. So I could either motion out that fullback or I could switch plays entirely. We have a big hole over the middle. So this is a good opportunity for that. You can use this like a straight up inside um, inside zone. You don't even have to read the read defender. You can basically just, just trade just treat it like that if you got a hole over the middle just hold the a button hand off to the running back but if you want to treat it like a option or a, a true read option play which a lot of people will set their uh, option defense to conservative focus on the quarterback anyway but you can if they don't you can watch that read defender there if he last play he stopped and like played off which means he's waiting for the quarterback but if he's aggressive and he shoots down to the running back you just um, keep it with the quarterback it's really that simple so watching him right here i make i make a bad read <laughs> as you can see he waited for the quarterback but i can still turn up field because at least i'm aware it actually makes it harder to make the read after the fact anyway so i'm just going to treat it like an inside handoff and you can see like i said i can still go out wide and get big run plays if i just ignore the the part where i can keep with the quarterback which wouldn't really be that helpful anyway so i will try to get at least one look though i keep with the quarterback like right here you can see crashes on the handoff i can always take it outside so there is a way that you can have an outside run play to both sides so very simple there we have a lot of really good dink and dunk plays i'll start off with one that i don't typically like to run in any other formation and that's the slip screen but before i do like i said if i'm passing I'm going to want to change my, uh, my my formation back to a regular formation by going back to just regular packages. And I probably want to make sure that I get this uh, guy out of here and put a, put an actual receiver. But if you have like a really fast tight end, you could leave him in that spot and it wouldn't really matter. Now this play here, if it's a man coverage, and this looks like a man zero blitz, your really only option is going to be to throw to this guy here. As you can see, I mean, that's, you know, screens are really good options when it comes to these type of plays as it invites all those blitzers upfield. But if you have a zone coverage, which this looks like it might be, the RB route is really good. As you can see, those guys really just set like a pick. Those those fit, those routes just kind of run back. I can't really throw those routes anyway. But they run back to the point where they'll get in the way of any flat defenders trying to get out on this running back. And I could typically get a good catch and run here of at least 5 to 10 yards. So you have two really good options, which is one of the only reasons that I'd like to run this particular play because I always have a backup option. But if it's a man coverage, you can really only go to the screen. And if it's a zone coverage, you can really only go to the... I mean, you can go... You can go to the screen on either play, man or zone, but you can't throw the flat route against man because typically you won't get that far. If you throw it, I'm going to see if I get a man coverage here. You can see how close that defender is. You probably want to have a really fast receiving back on the other side too because the longer uh, he runs that route, the more open he gets. But let's see, this looks like a man coverage here. As you can see, I really can't throw that and get any yards. I mean, I could probably get an interception there if I throw that against a man coverage. So just remember that. Right side zone, left side man, it's the easiest way to run the play. Now there is a really good uh, man coverage a couple of good man coverage plays on here, but the best one that's just a straight man coverage play is the Niner Swirl, as both these outside receivers will get open against pretty much any man coverage. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to pick, um, you know, I'll just pick the cover one hole. The outside routes that these two receivers are running, uh, they both just stop right in front of the receiver, but you really have to time it. If you throw it too early, you throw it too late, you can put the ball in jeopardy, but it's really an easy route. Both of these outside receivers will just stop right in front of their man quarterbacks every single time, and then you can just body him for an easy catch. So, like I said, you got to work on the timing of it because, like I said, I'll try to throw it too early, and you'll see what will happen. As you can see, the cornerback can break on that. So, throwing it too early, throwing it too late can mess the play up, but otherwise it's going to get open every single time. Now, you might want to put the A around like a zig or something just to give yourself a secondary option. I find this is a really good play. As you can see, the check and release routes from the two running backs that are both in check and releases will pick up any uh, rushers on a man's or blitz, but they'll also get open under these zones. So, they're both very good routes as well although i think i mean i'm not really sure they might get open against man because they do look like uh man breaking routes i mean they're not, not going to get a lot but you can probably throw them against man as well even though they're not going to be as effective now some people will get kind of slick and they'll do something where they'll start to play underneath if you run this play too much in that scenario just put one of the receivers on a fade the computer's not going to do that and i'm not going to do it for the computer but if you play underneath you can undercut these routes and get interceptions so if you notice your opponent's starting to do that just put one on a streak and then you'll have one that gets open over the top and you'll have 
one that gets open underneath every single time. Although obviously the computer's not playing underneath right now, so it's not going to work out. So I got two more plays that are good dink and dunk plays, but they're also one play touchdowns in the Niners halfback choice and the Niners halfback rail. So we're going to first show the Niners halfback choice because this is probably the best dink and dunk play. But I'm also going to have to start getting into the one play touchdowns, which I typically try to save for the end. So let's go and let's pick the Niners halfback choice. So this play here. All you really got to do is put the B route on a streak and the A route should get open against just about any zone coverage as long as you're running from Ash Mark, except for like matching principal zone coverages like cover four and stuff like that. It won't necessarily work there, but I also want to put the RB route on a five yard out route because that's going to be a really good check down on that side if you get a look like that like right there that looked like it was probably covered too i probably should have held that and went deeper but i'll get into that more when i go over the one play touchdowns but the real route that i like here um, i mean i like every route as it is as we have four man beating routes with the exception of what the rb route is doing uh that would be my setup like this would be a really good man play just like this where the running back is on a choice route over here. And that's probably my favorite route. As you can see, he just, he'll either stop on that little uh, curl or that little comeback route. Or a lot of times, if it's a man coverage, he'll go outside. Although right here, there is outside. And yeah, that was his own coverage. That'll probably be his number one look. If it's his own coverage, he'll probably just stop right there for a good five to 10 yards. But if it's a man coverage, he'll go to the outside, like right here. And he was actually double teamed and he still got open. So like I said, I really like that choice route. That's gonna get open against just about everything man or zone. And then you also have a lot of really good man and zone concepts, which I'll go over here in a second with some one play touchdowns. So like I said, this is a play that really can be a one play touchdown against just about any man coverage, especially uh, cover. So I'm gonna go pick that again. There's only really one zone coverage that this play has success against and that's Tampa too. So let's go ahead and start off with that. So for this play to be successful, all you really gotta do is put the B route on a streak. I also like to put the RB route on a five yard out route just to kind of, you know, get that guy uh, a little bit of, um, of a check down option, give my quarterback a check down option, and also hold the cornerback down. And you can potentially get a catch and run one play touchdown. I'm not going to run this too much, as you can see. It really just depends on what type of catch and run you get. But I'll do that one more time. And you can see how, you know, it's going to be a big play at the very least. But if I can turn that corner, I can, I can obviously have an opportunity to score. That's the only zone coverage that play works with, but it works against every man coverage. So I'm going to go out and pick cover two man to start. Against cover two man, same setup, really as you're really just waiting for this A route who doesn't even get pressed to get outside. And I might actually have my one play touchdown. As you can see there, he barely catches me going around that corner, but you can see how explosive of a play this can be. So that's pretty much the same, but you can also do that against cover one hole and cover zero, which would be next. Against cover one hole, you can see that no matter what, there's going to be a, um, the safety is gonna start on the two wide receiver side. That's just how it's programmed. So if I motion him across, I can change that. And now I got a one-on-one -on -one with the A receiver and the B receiver there should pull that guy back enough. As you can see, we get a really funky uh, look as he kind of like breaks outside, but he still gets open no matter what. This corner route's going to get open against man. You can also work to the other side of the field though, as we have a good route on the other side as well. And for this to work, I'm just going to block the RB route. I mean, I have, you know, I always have my other options, but the X route here is a very good man beating route to the other side. Although, um, I mean, that can be a one play touchdown as well. Both of these can be. And then last but not least, we have cover zero. This here works the same way. I would just say motion across this receiver here so that you can isolate that A receiver. And then also just put the RB route on a check and release. And the A route will get open most of the time the exact same way. As you can see, it kind of just breaks outside. Sometimes you'll get a better release than that. Sometimes it'll be wide open for a touchdown or, you know, get a good catch and run. You didn't really get it there. But we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, I like to clear this side out. Let's not have anybody on that side. Let's just have a one-on-one -on -one with that A route. As you can see, I mean, when you, if you throw in the break, normally you can get a very good catch and run. I'm not getting any one-play touchdowns here, but I'm sure you'll see plenty of that in my gameplays coming up because this is a very uh, good concept against man. So that's pretty much it for that play. We'll move over to the Niners rail. This one here is a definite one-play touchdown against pretty much any man coverage. So let's go and let's pick that. We'll start off with cover zero. The reason I'm starting off with cover zero is because this is a natural one play touchdown against cover zero. You don't have to make any adjustments. You don't have to change the blocking structure. You just got to wait for this guy here to get over the top and you can see how he can get past that cornerback. There is an adjustment you can make though. You can motion this this receiver out and it'll help him get open even faster against a couple different man coverage defenses. As you can see, we got the we got the running back picking up the, uh, the blitzer there. As you can see, this time we get just a little bit more separation because he starts at the line of scrimmage. But you can also have the same success against cover one hole. So let's go and let's pick that. 
It's another play where you see the safety starts all the way on the right side. And there are a lot of good checkdowns for cover for man coverage, by the way. All these routes beat man coverage. But I could run a play just like this. I don't have to make any adjustments. It's once again a cover one, one play touchdown. With the exception of the fact that I can do a little bit more to pull that safety over. I can streak a receiver to pull that safety over. But you can see how it gets right past them. If you go to the replay, you can see how this play works. I've said this once. I've said it a thousand times in these videos. If you have a route that runs right through the defender, the defender will lose acceleration, but the receiver won't. So you see he runs right through that, gets instant separation from about five yards, and all you got to do is bullet and pass it away for an easy touchdown. You can see that we can have a wheel route on the other side too. If I put the RB route on a wheel route, it does not get open the same way. As you can see, I mean, you have an opportunity, but the routes just aren't the same. And I'll, I'll have them side by side. You can see the reason that they aren't the same is because number one, this route on the right side only breaks twice where the route on the right side or the left side looks like it breaks three times. The more a route breaks, the better when it comes to defenses like this. You could also throw this ball right away. I mean, I could throw it out underneath for a good catch and run against the zone coverages mostly, but that's uh, something that you can do, which I really didn't go over, and I'm probably not going to go over. But against zone coverages, you can throw that out and get a good catch and run underneath. But against man coverages, it's best to run it just like this, or once again, motion them to the sideline, although you can see that does change the safety a little bit, which is why I said you could sacrifice the B route, which is probably the worst man-beating route in the play. You'll have two routes over the middle for checkdowns anyway, but that will pull the coverage back and allow this uh, this running back here to get separation still, although there it you can see he covered it better. So to me, against cover one man, it's probably best to leave him in the backfield. Against cover two, though, it's going to be a different story. So let's go and let's check that out. Against cover two man, this is a much better uh, concept for the with the motion. So let's go and let's pick that. You don't have to uh, motion him out. I'll go and I'll put the X route on a streak because you will have to pull back. Uh, that safety that's going to be the biggest thing but you can see how you can dot this up and still get it in there but it's not as good as if you motion him out against cover two man it's a much better option to motion him and you'll see it why because you'll get a very different uh, release reaction as you can see he tries to press and he just runs right around it for another potential catch and run one play touchdown or at least a very big play so against cover one it's best to run from the backfield but against cover two it's best to motion him out so I'm going to do that one more time. Like I said, you really won't have a lot of luck. But you can see I can throw it out right away. But running past these defenders is probably going to be the hard part. But you could easily score from anywhere around 40 yards. Now, for my last play, you really have two plays. It's going to be a one-play touchdown against every defense in the game. But the setups are going to be pretty much the same. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time on the double ins because the double ins play is essentially the same thing as the halfback wheel, only the halfback wheel is just that much better. I mean, they both have a flat route to the fullback. They both have a, a post route to the number one wide receiver, but the, the halfback wheel is just much better. So I'm not going to, you know, double record this, but I do want to show you one variation from the double ends that you can't get from the other play, and that's going to be against pretty much any play. I'm going to go ahead and pick random. Now, there is a speed out route here in the slot, which you really can't see until you motion him across. Right there, it just looks like, uh, I mean, it's, it's like a speed in. But if I motion him across, now you can see he's breaking to the outside. So even though I have what looks like a press man one, if I throw it when, he in, when he's in the break, he's going to get open against that every single time for 8 to 10 yards. So I have a speed out route. Speed out route is one of the best routes in the game against any coverage other than cover two. So cover two, they're at about five yards. I mean, you can get it open against cover two too, but if you see here, like he's so far back, this, this receiver is going to break long before he has a chance to make a play on it. And I mean, he even made a good play on it and it still was caught. So that'll get opening. It's just about any coverage except for this. This looks like cover two because you got your cornerbacks five yards off. So I'll just show you guys. It might be, I don't know, maybe it looked like it was man coverage there for a second. You can still body this. Even though it's this is like the best defense, sometimes you can still body this. But like I said, that's the one look you're going to want to avoid. So now time for the fun stuff. Let's go and let's get to the halfback wheel. Uh, there's one play touchdown against everything. This is the, the number one play for that. So let's go and let's start off with Tampa 2. Against cover 2, this is technically a natural one play touchdown. But it's going to work better if you put the Y receiver or the Y running back rather on a streak to pull back that safety a little bit quicker. And you can see how the, uh, you know, we can just start right up the middle here. Although it looks like we got another under pressure because... Um, Chris Jones is just a problem. You can see that the linebacker in the mid read does drop back on that, but he has to respect that that in route coming over the middle there, which is why it changes his focus down a little bit. And that's really what makes this play work so well. But to create the best version of this one play touchdown, I would block the running back for better blocking and motion this guy out. Even putting him on a 10 yard out route would be better than, a, than what he's in right now. As this will pull the safety apart that much better and make the throw that much easier. As you can see, the safety was shooting over there to cover the uh, the 10 yard out route. And you can see this safety here was kind of, you know, lagging in the middle of the field last time, where this time he has to shoot to the outside, creating a lot of space for that receiver to come open across behind him. 
You can also just put the B receiver on a streak. And if you do this, you have the A receiver to the outside once again, which I showed in a previous play. could be a very big play, but it's not necessarily going to be a one-play touchdown. The setups for the cover two man are going to be very similar. So let's go and let's pick that. You're going to have the same options as far as setups. You could do the full setup, streaking this guy, motioning out the A route, you know, blocking the running back. You can do all that once again for man coverage. It makes sense definitely to block the running back when it comes to man coverage. As you can see, this will give you the easiest catch and run over the middle. Although the cornerback was kind of there, but you can see he's still wide open to make a big play. Or you could just work the other side once again and put the B receiver on a streak. And the A receiver there just kind of ran right past the cornerback without getting jammed. And we have another potential catch and run one play touchdown although obviously it's going to be based off of how well you run after the catch but you have multiple options against cover two you're going to have a lot of options against man coverages as well so let's go and let's pick that one more time let's go through all the man coverages we'll do cover one hole first lots of different options here again um, i can motion this guy across to move that safety out of the way and put him on a streak just to pull that safety back and then the a receiver will be a really good option Although this isn't necessarily, as he runs right around everything there, this isn't necessarily a one-play touchdown, but you can see how that route's going to get open a lot. But we could also motion this ball across and work the other receivers as well, as we still have that safety over there, and the wheel route that the running back is on is going to be just as good as the Niners halfback rail. As you can see, we can get an easy one-play touchdown to the wheel route to the running back without making any adjustments once again. You also have several options against cover zero as well. So let's go and let's pick that. You got a couple different options here. Um, if you're going to throw to the post route, I would say just blocking the RB receiver would be the way to go because he'll do a better job of picking up that uh, blitzing linebacker. And I don't think that that's necessarily going to be, um, you know, a lot of these are one play touchdown capable, but that doesn't mean that they're actually going to be gone. As you can see there, we finally get the, the look where he gets over the top. But that really depends on how quickly you throw it. I feel like you got to hold it a little bit to make that a one-play touchdown. I find that the wheel route can get open too if you motion the line of scrimmage. Um, he'll actually get open more in the flat, as you can see right here. I can throw that right away and just get a good catch and run, which is one of my favorite things to do uh, when it comes to beating man zero as it is. I mean, it'll have that same success underneath because you can see, once again, the, the, the cornerback or the safety covering him starts to play so deep, making that a very easy catch and run, uh, which I've shown in you know my, my guns stack wide flex series but a lot of times too the uh, the two cornerbacks will run into one another um, based off the fact that they're starting to play so close to each other and you can see right here we get a very easy one play touchdown because they ran into one another i can throw that ball right away so that's something to watch for i'll go and i'll show it here on the replay you can see these cornerbacks just bump into each other enough that both receivers are open i could throw it to the running back in the flat or i could just take the easy one play touchdown right over the middle because aj brown just gets a little bit more separation making it that much easier you could also work the corner route i think it's going to be best to motion uh this guy across just to get him out of there entirely you can put him on a drag or something if you want to check down uh, but this is pretty much going to be the play here as the A route will now get outside leverage on his defender and have another opportunity for a catcher on one play touchdown. So you have multiple routes to attack against man cover zero. Now we haven't shown any plays for cover three yet. So let's go ahead and let's pick that next. Against cover three, I'm going to run from a hash mark to the short side of the field and motion this guy across. And if you watch the safety change positions, that's what's going to give me my best opportunity to score against this play. So I'm just going to put the B route on a fade once he gets across. I'm going to put both running backs on wheels and the A route I'm just going to put on a drag because I want that as a check down. So that's pretty much the play. And you just have to wait for this X route to get inside the safety and then you can see here how we have a very good opportunity although you really have to kind of squeeze it up that seam i didn't really get the best throw there but if you see how this guy here once he gets across this safety i could probably throw it at any point in time i probably should have threw it right around here and you can see the delivery on the ball is a little bit late but you can see once i get that ball out if, if i can pass it up in the space i can split these guys easily so i'll go and i'll do that one more time just to kind of get that uh Get that down. You don't actually have to wheel the running back either. You can just leave the the A route as the as the bait for that cornerback, and he will react to that. That way, I can just block my uh, my running back, which gives me just a little bit more separation than the wheel route itself. So there's more than one way to do it. So only two more defenses to go. Next up, I'm going to do cover four quarters. And this is another play that really doesn't require any adjustments because the running back is going to get wide open when he gets man-matched by the linebacker. And we'll call that a touchdown. I'm not really sure if he made it in or is out the one. 
There's an easier way to get the post route open, though, and that's putting this running back on a wheel and motion to the line of scrimmage. Now you have two wheel routes on that side, which they have to pay attention to, but all I'm really trying to do is get this corner or this post route on the outside cornerback, which you can see that has that effect. You can see how this cornerback has outside leverage, and based off the fact that these guys, you know, originally it looks like he's supposed to be man matched by the safety, but once the play develops, the safety realizes he has to switch, and now the cornerback's way out of position, making this a very easy one play touchdown over the center of the field. Last defense, cover four regular, which I'll have to leave and go to the dollar formation for, but this is it. This is another play where you can motion out this running back and just steal this underneath which I just want to show, as you can see, I mean, we're just, you know, we could just take that underneath all game long. Again, it's cover four, run from a hash mark to the short side of the field and motion this running back over and put him and both running backs on the streak. Then just put the B receiver on a drag for a check down. And this is pretty much all you got to do as the X receiver here will eventually cross to space. As you can see, the streaks will pull back both of the um, deep safeties, making this a wide open one-point touchdown. You have to buy a little bit of time, but considering there's no pass rush because of the three rushers, it shouldn't be that difficult. As you can see, the streaking running backs really account for both of the safeties getting pulled back, and then this guy just gets left wide open underneath with all this space to throw to in the corner of the end zone, making it a very easy play. That's the best video. If you guys want to see more from this offense in gameplay, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section as I do plan on putting out some gameplay from formations from the Niners ebook starting next week. And other than until next time thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below